Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to the ANZ TV. Yeah, the ANZ TV is the place where we have some sweet, sweet, informative matters that are meant and dealt meant to inform, educate, and entertain you. Whatever it is that has to do with information, the best place and the number one place to get all of it is the ANZ TV. So. I urge you right now to come out, subscribe, click notification button, comment, like, and share. And if there's just anything you want us to talk about, we'll talk about it. <laughs> so right about now, I um, there's something that happened in the palace this morning. You know, you know the palace is actually a place that has now turned into some uh, circus of sort. You know, there's so much drama happening, always happening in the palace. Yeah, there's been so much, so much drama happening in the palace and the one that just happened recently that got everyone talking is the fact that when the uh, the the security guard you know came out of the palace this morning you know every morning it is their duty to do a security check you know they have to check the parameters you know move around the palace to know what's happening so when they came out of the palace this morning there was something very odd that happened that they saw you know these are something that has never happened before in the palace. This time around, it happened. And it actually makes everyone begin to think that there's something, there's a very dark cloud, you know, that is covering the palace. And what happened in the palace this time around is the fact that when the guards came out of the, in front of the palace this morning, they noticed that there was, um, there's, you know, you know what is dwarf, right? There was a dwarf who is actually dressed in royal robes, yeah. A dwarf was dressed in royal robes and he was busy standing in front of the palace. Now, when the guards came out of the palace, you know, all the guard, palace guards are very tall, tall, tall. So when the guards came out of the palace, they were now looking up, 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 looking for who was talking, who was talking. But incidentally, they didn't see anyone who was talking. So what now happened was, the guy now said, some, a voice from nowhere now said, I am here. They started, started still searching, looking, looking everywhere. It was at that point now that the eyes of the guard now went down. And now realized that there was a dwarf, you know, who was standing in front of the palace. Ah, what is a dwarf doing here? Because in the palace, the truth about the matter is, dwarfs are very, very scarce in Ilefe. You know, you hardly see dwarfs in Ilefe. But this time around, I now saw that dwarf. And they were like, ah, ah, what are you doing here? Where, where is your mommy? Where is your papa? Where is your mama? The dwarf did not say anything. They ask her, ask her, ask her, ask. He did not say anything. When they now decided to, to, to go and that they were confused though, they didn't know what's happening. Though. They now went and summoned the Oni. Oni now came and met the dwarf. Oni asked the dwarf, who are you? The dwarf did not say anything. They now brought Ifa priest. Ifa priest asked the dwarf, who are you? The boy did not say anything. Okay. Now, the confusion was now growing, 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 growing. They now said, okay, let them invite all the Oloris. Let them full and come. I let you come and know what is happening here. My brother, that's how the night invited the Olori. So immediately all the Oloris came. Who oh, first Olori, second Olori, all the Oloris down lined up. Bam. The boy did not say anything. So the confusion was growing up, growing up, growing up. So at the point now, immediately Ronke came, Pam. Ronke shake. From the shaking alone, he now sent information around the place that he uh, It seems something is happening here. It seems something is happening here. How can Ronke just come like this and shake? It's by seeing the dwarf. The dwarf now said, The mother is in this palace. E mother, palace, how? How can the mother, palace, as in, that one just make everybody to start shaking again? They now say, Okay. Now, this thing they are doing so hard, they need to get to the bottom of it. They now say that she sent for Naomi. Because at the point of this report, Naomi was not in the palace. It's only all those other Oloris them were in the palace. They now say they should send for Naomi. On sending for Naomi, they say Naomi has already bought a flight to Abuja for the event where she's ministering with Pastor Reverend Mother Jai. So Naomi was now out of the equation. That's how they now came back and told the only that Naomi is not around. And everybody was still in the palace waiting. So as they now waited and waited and waited, the 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 the, 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 the dwarf now said. That the mother is in this palace. And the mother is among these women that are staring at him. Ha! Miriam was there. Ronke was there. Elizabeth was there. Peju was there. 
Ashley was there. They were not asking. So, Oga, tell us who is your mother. The boy, the dwarf now said, he wants the mother to use his, her own mouth and proclaim that he's my mother because if he say what he wants to say now, the whole place will scatter. So therefore, anybody that knows that he's the mother, because that him, in his church, man, he knows the mother. He knows the mother. He knows the person who carried him for nine months. That even if he knows he's a dwarf, dwarf does not mean he doesn't have senses. So the mother should come out now and confess why he would have to abandon him with this in his, in his village. Because they're not asking him, okay, so where are you coming from? He said he had to cross seven seas. He crossed seven mountains. He crossed seven valleys before he got to this destination. So therefore, the mother has to confess. Ha! Oni now started, Oni, now, Oni was now very perplexed. Oni now said, okay, amongst all of you here, who gave birth to this dwarf? Because as for me, I can never have a, a gene of a dwarf. So it means technically now what happened now is that on, one of Oni's wife played Kurukere movement outside. Now my million dollar question now, how can somebody in the exalted position of Oni's wife now go and do Kerewa with a dwarf that now come and produce a dwarf child? You see, there's this thing about desperation of child, child uh, bearing children. Once you're desperate about bearing a child, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. This is actually one of such mistakes. That somebody out there now went and brought a dwarf to desecrate the palace. Because as far as I'm concerned, the palace is highly desecrated. Yes, the palace has been desecrated as a dwarf now comes looking for the mother. So, this incident now made everybody to now say, okay, you see, before every woman comes to this palace and moves out, DNA test must be carried on them periodically so that no other child issue is going to be recorded in the palace because these child issues are actually making the palace look like some child's play of sorts. That if it's now gotten to that level where people will now come like this and come and be giving only children he does not understand where they come from. You see, of all of them, the only person that has been legitimate is Queen Naomi. Because Naomi only didn't even need to do DNA tests on Naomi's child. Because Naomi's child is a replica of the only. Only for even only couldn't have been able to run if for any reason, by adventure, he wanted to run. So the dwarf was now only said he cannot allow the dwarf. To go back like that. That he must get to the bottom of this. That was how Oni now invited the dwarf into the palace. And now said they should take him to the royal chambers. That he does not want the guy to escape. Because if the guy runs now, Oni will not be able to get to the root of this matter. But the way it is now, right now, all fingers are pointing to Ronke. But it is not affirmed yet. If Ronke is actually the biological mother of the dwarf. But the fact that Naomi uh, uh, Ronke shaked when the dwarf came into the palace makes her a suspicious element. So right now, the main suspect for this incident is none other but Queen um, Lori Ronke. Because she could not compose herself. You see, if it was a criminal like Miriam now, Miriam will compose herself. She will not give away her identity. But um, uh, uh, Olori Ronke could not hide her identity. That was how she now shaked in when they were now investigating the matter. So as a matter of fact, the matter is seriously still under investigation. And we are hoping that uh, very soon we'll get to the bottom of this issue. But what still marvels me is the fact that um, uh, um, Toby, uh, not Toby Phillips, um, Ronke 
didn't have stees and composure. That is why she's now the prime suspect of this incident. So people, this is where I'm going to be stopping. Oh, this uh, dwarf issue has given the whole palace sleepless night. But the innocence of um, Queen Naomi is what will always vindicate her. You know, it is said, he who wants to go to equity, make their hands, they very, very clean. All right, people, we will be coming your way again. I urge you all to subscribe to our channel, click on the notification button, comment, like, and share. And if there's any gist you so desire us to give you on this platform, let us know. And guess what? We will talk about it. All right. Thank you. And see you some other time. Bye-bye.